Hey, it's Kayla and I'm shooting another early morning video for you. I'm not even going to apologize because I'm not sorry. I'm exhausted. So I'm making this video because I just finished a three day fat fast. I was going for four, five days, didn't make it because honestly it was a struggle. So before I get into it, I want to just tell you that I hit my goal weight a few weeks ago and since then I've been going ham, just eating whatever I want. Um, I think I went six solid days of eating crap every day after I hit my goal weight. And by crap, I mean I wouldn't eat anything in the morning because, you know, I, I intermittent fasted anyway. But when I got home, I was eating donuts, cinnamon rolls, pizza, burgers, Chinese food, burritos, tacos. I'm, I'm telling you, I ate whatever I wanted. And so then I got back on the wagon for two days, but it was so hard. And I think I came back home or something and I just went ham again. So I was like, you know what, this has to stop because my weight got up there. I started getting some weight and I'm like, you know what, no, this is not happening to me. I know this is how it happens. You get to your goal weight and then you just start eating and eating and you're like, but it's fine. It's just some water weight, but I know that I can quickly get out of hand. So I needed to nip that in the bud. So I decided to do a fat fast. If you're not familiar, a fat fast is when you eat 1,000 to 1,200 calories a day and 80 to 90% of that is gonna be fat. So you're eating low carb, moderate protein, and high fat, oh, ooh, <coughs> morning voice, and high fat. So I went to the store, I got a pack of bacon, I got some guacamole singles, I got eggs, some peanut butter, I found some really good peanut butter that's reduced sugar because since eating low carb for so long, I do have like a lower tolerance for sugar. I don't like things as sweet as I used to. Um, I did have some coconut oil that I already owned and I got some mayonnaise. I know, gross. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what I ate for those three days because I know that that's something that interests you all. And if you want to, you can copy this exact thing. I'm going to tell you exactly, <laughs> exactly what I ate. So in the morning, I took one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil to work. I would go up to my uh, works cafeteria, slip that in the freezer between two ice packs. Coconut oil freezes very fast. So I'd slip that in there, a couple minutes later I would take it out and I would put it in my cup, put coffee in it. Bam. Coconut oil coffee. It tasted good to me. Um, it tasted coconutty but not fake coconutty. But I like coconut. So if you don't like coconut, you might think it's kind of weird. For my first meal after work, I would fry four pieces of bacon. When that was done, I would scramble together two eggs, two just egg yolks, two tablespoons of mayo, mix that in. It sounds gross, but someone said something about mayo and scrambled eggs on my egg fast video. So I tried it out and it's pretty good. So I scrambled that, but I made sure to scramble it in the bacon fat to get all the fats in. And then I would top it with one guacamole pack. My last meal, which was like my dessert, is four tablespoons of peanut butter. So that was my meal plan for the three days of the fat fast. Um, it was really hard to stick to. My cycle is about to start and I spent so long eating carbs that it's really hard to get my cravings back in check. That's the thing about a low carb diet. The longer you're on it, the easier it is for you. But when you deviate and if you deviate hard, it gets so hard to get back on track. So um, I didn't mean to leave this for the last part of the video, but it is in the title. I lost like eight pounds in those three days, which I think is pretty good, especially because I cheated a few times in the three days um, and I probably didn't drink as much water as I needed to. There are three reasons that I would recommend doing a fat fast. One, if you're a beginner and you just want to try it out and you want to get into ketosis pretty quickly and you just want to see what it's about. Two, if you're in a plateau. A lot of people do fat fast when they're in plateaus and it works and I've never done it for a plateau. I always use it for the third reason, which is if you've cheated and you need to get back into ketosis right now. So um, yeah, I'm happy with the weight I lost. I feel a lot lighter. Um, the issues I was having after all that sugar has gone away, like I was very inflamed. I wasn't able to sleep very well and my mood was acting really wonky. So I'm feeling great now that I'm back on carbs. I'm at home with my family. So let's see if I can keep it together. Overall, the fat fast experience was great. I love doing the fat fast. If you ask me if I like this or the egg fast better, I will definitely say I like the fat fast better. 
I cannot eat only eggs, but at least with the fat fast, I can have coconut oil and um, bacon, sausage, guac, all that stuff on the egg fast. It's very little room for more things. And I can't live with just cheese and eggs. Gross. So that's all for this video. I know I sound like a frog. I don't care. I kind of want to go back to sleep. So I will talk to you later. Bye.